Hi guys. So I am currently in my studio slash spare room slash den. And it's Friday. It is my last Friday off of work. So I normally work Monday to Thursday and this is my last Friday off. So as of next week, I will be full time again. So I thought I'd take advantage of this three day weekend and film some stuff. So I've got a lot of stuff to do. I know I need to do some more things for my Kickstarter. I wanted to have a bit of a tidy because this room is not exactly what we'd call tidy at the moment. And I just put a load of art prints up here and they're all falling down. So <laughs> need to restick those. Um, I'd like to go get some plants this weekend because we don't have a lot of plants in our house because our cat likes to eat them and then normally throw up. I need to put my new acrylic necklace up in my shop for pre-order. I need to do some photography. Oh, and also it is nearly March and that means March Meet the Maker is around the corner. So I wanted to do some prep for that as well so I think let's maybe get started by writing a to-do list and I will go from there This poor little print. There were uh, one or two here that have just mysteriously disappeared. So I'm assuming that they have fallen down the back of there. Ta -da! Let's give this another go. Let's get rid of that washi tape. <laughs> Okay, so March Meet the Maker is a challenge that is run by Joanne Hawker on Instagram. And it is like a, a daily photo challenge. So each day there's a different prompt and it's all to do with small kind of creative businesses and it helps you to tell your story. A little disclaimer, I do not complete every day because it's, it's just a lot of pressure to put myself under when um, I'm not full time, I don't have all the time in the world to do it, but it's just really fun to get involved and it's really fun to see other people as well. So yeah, check her out on Instagram. And um, she has included a little sheet, like a little worksheet. So I printed this off, I downloaded it off her website, printed it off onto some nice thick card. And it's just to help you plan your prompts for the month. So you can scribble down what you plan to actually take photos of, what your subject is going to be, what kind of things you want to talk about. And yeah, it's just a little guide to help work out what you're going to do. But I'm going to write down all the ideas. I've already jotted them down on my phone, so I'm just going to put them on here and that'll give me a bit of an idea of which ones I really want to do, try and take some photos over the, the course of this weekend um, to start me off, and then we will go from there. Okay, so now that I have put all of my prompts into my planning sheet, I'm going to take a few of the photos. So I've done a bit of a mixture between photographs and time lapses and... I might try and do some YouTube videos. So like there's one of them and it's how it's made and for ages I've really wanted to do a video on how I make enamel pins, how I design them, how I make them and maybe even who I make them with. Why not help each other out? Why, why, why be so secretive? There's room for everybody. There is, that's what I believe. So yeah, I might do that in a YouTube video. So if you wanna know how enamel pins are made, Watch this space. Oh, I've got like fluff and hair everywhere. Thinking of doing photography, some videos, some time lapses, and I wanna try and do, is it like called stop motion where you kind of have all your little things going beep, 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 beep. <laughs> I need coffee. 
Maybe we should go make a coffee. What's the time? It's 11 o'clock. Paul may have mentioned this morning that he might come home at lunchtime with a Costa coffee. Coffee. He might not answer. Nope. Oh, I want a coffee. This is my first photography setup. I mean, I've got my little washi tape, which is cute, and my Felix pin, and a little notebook, and some gold. We've gone for like a gold and pink theme. I just kind of wing it, and sometimes they come out great, sometimes they don't. If it doesn't come out great, I might just reuse a photo I've already taken. See, like, I have these little kind of um, drawing pins. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, so I have these. I mean, I could potentially scatter some there. Okay, I managed to get hold of Paul. He is definitely bringing me coffee home. I am gonna crack on and do some design work for my Kickstarter, charge up my camera. thought maybe I would kind of show you what happens when the cat comes in here. So I've opened my door. He's asleep on the bedroom, uh, on the bedroom, on the bed at the moment, in the bedroom. So he might not come in, but I'm going to leave that open for a bit and see if he wanders in. But he is literally a menace. And if you've seen me on Instagram, I do share videos of him, I have a whole highlights real on my page dedicated to the cat um because i love him i have just finished working on all of the images and uh like stretch goal information for my kickstarter project so that is literally all ready to go now so i already submitted it for review it can take a few days for kickstarter to actually um like approve the project but it means that once they approve it i can literally just launch it so i'm so happy that that was done oh i've wanted to launch this kickstarter for ages and I've had the idea in my head for ages and I have designed like so many stretch goals. I think there's like nine. Um, so yeah, there's going to be like pins and hopefully bookmarks, washi tape and tote bags. Very exciting. I'd like to apologise for the amount of fluff that is on this jumper and my trousers. They are Lucy and Yak trousers and I literally love them. They are so, so comfy. But fluff sticks to them like nothing else. And I'm talking like cat hair, my hair, just fibers, fluff. Cat hair don't care, right? Okay, so I am just doing my listing on my website for the acrylic necklace this is my acrylic necklace design look at the reflection on that it's super shiny this is kind of prototype one okay oh there we go so these little stars here 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 yeah um at the moment they are like 3d so you can see they're like on top um i've changed the design so that they sit flush like the other pieces so it'll be flat but what that means is that at the moment I don't have a photo of prototype 2. I think I'll just put it on and explain the situ and hopefully people will be happy to go ahead without seeing the final version. The cat hasn't come in yet. It's quite nice to have the door open actually. I normally feel like a bit of a prisoner in here. Maui! Mimo! Maui! What are you doing? No, 
he's not getting up. He is well and truly asleep. Be more. Okay, maybe another day. I think I'm pretty much done for the day. It's getting darker. It's misty again. And I've really struggled with the lighting in here today. See you tomorrow. Oh, run away. Why did you make it run away? <laughs> <laughs> Shout banana car, it's not banana, it's green. <laughs> 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 what even was that? <laughs> okay, so Paul so far has two points and I have nil point. <laughs> Why mini never Oh no, it's not mini. <laughs> That's a uh, point to me. Uh, no, you don't get points like that. I do. Okay, good morning. It is now Saturday and we are on the way to yoga. So, oh, I'm out of breath. We do yoga at the gym and it's quite a busy class. We have to get up at six o'clock every Saturday. We'll try and get up before six o'clock to book it in. Otherwise it literally books out within like a minute. Um, so yeah, we don't always get on the class, but we managed to get on this week. So we are heading to the gym for a nice chilled yoga session. And we might even go sit in a coffee shop and I will do some doodling and Paul will do some stuff. What will you do? I will um, admire your beauty from afar. Paul will admire my beauty from afar. It is now five o'clock on Saturday afternoon, Saturday evening. And um, I haven't done a lot of Lula Rock stuff today. But it was nice to do some sketching actually because I don't actually sketch very often. I don't like my sketches. Um, I haven't really seen how they've turned out because it was so bright. We, we sat right in the window because it was absolutely lovely outside today. Like bearing in mind it's only February, it felt very spring-like. So we sat right in the window, it was super, super bright, and it meant that I kind of struggled to see my screen, but I was like really stubborn about it, and I was like, I am not moving, I want the sun. Um, so even like the colours I was using, it was really difficult to actually see um, how they were coming out. So I just went with it, to be honest, I just went with it, and um, I'm going to have a look, and I might actually draw them up properly at some point, and make them into... 
I don't know, like a little pattern or something. I did some plants and some trees and I might draw some more. But it was just nice to kind of draw with no pressure and just sketch and use colour and kind of rough lines. So yeah, that was very, very nice. As I said, I've got my little plants behind me. I might give you a little plant tour. Um, I am no expert with plants, so I couldn't tell you what they are. Um, and also, uh, you might be able to see more of the prints fell off the wall, which is just fab. I actually don't think I'm in focus. I don't really know. Let's see if I can give you a plant tour. Okay, so this one is from Sainsbury's and it's kind of like a little pot on a stand, which is cute. And this is fake. <laughs> this, however, is aloe vera and is real. I do love me a bit of aloe vera. Um, our last one died, it commits suicide, uh, jumped off the uh, unit and then basically died. Um, so I've also got this one which is real, like I said, I don't know names. This is real, this is real. These little ones are fake and this one is fake also. And the reason I got a mixture of fake and real ones is that I have never had succulents in my life other than aloe vera. Don't even know if aloe vera is classed as a succulent. I'm kind of worried that they're all gonna die. So I felt like if I got some fake ones as well, at least if they all die, I won't be left with no plants. They look kind of cute, so I'm going to try and find some homes for them now. It is nearly six o'clock and I have now updated the shipping weights for my necklace and I have also sent out a newsletter to tell people that it's available for pre-order. I have also checked my Kickstarter campaign about 50 million times. It's still not approved. So that leaves me with the option of drawing up my plant sketches that I did earlier into actual drawings. Do you know what? I'm not even really sure what to do anymore. I've had a rough few days. Um, Tuesday, just I had a bit of a breakdown in the morning basically and ended up taking the rest of the week off of work. Because of that, I didn't work on Lula Rocks like all week. So yesterday, Friday, was the first day that I've actually done any Lula Rocks like all week. And it, it's been weird not doing it. And it's taken me a little while to get back into the swing of things. And considering this is my last three day weekend, that's not exactly great. I'm just gonna look at my entire to-do list really because yeah, I kind of feel like I've I've lost myself a bit. I've lost where I was, what I was doing, I've lost the steam, so to speak. I can't pack any orders because my pit boxes are at work and obviously I haven't been in to collect them. So what else do I need to do? I think maybe redrawing up my plants is probably a good shout for now. Then maybe call it a night. We'll see. Good morning, it is Sunday. So it is my last day in my little den and before I go back to work tomorrow, full time. You can tell I'm really excited about that. So I am going to focus today on my Kickstarter Q and A, which I'm gonna do on my Instagram stories. I am going to try and work on some promo images for my Kickstarter. Uh, in fact, speaking of Kickstarter, let's see if we've had any luck. 
Yeah. It's still in review. It's really bright out today, actually. Yeah. I probably should have sorted my camera out a little bit. Like, I look a bit washed out. Sorry. In fact, let's see if we can fix this. That might be a little bit bad. What does it say? You'll get a response by February 26th. There's still two whole days away. <laughs> well. From there, I'm going to see where the wind takes me. I, if I've got time and if the light is with me, I might do some more photography. I'll film as much as I can. Here is my Q&A on Kickstarter. No. 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 <laughs> Do not eat the daffodilly. Hello. It is now Monday evening and I hadn't actually planned on my vlog going on to Monday, but um, Sunday went a bit crazy and things just went a bit wrong. <laughs> So I didn't end up doing as much Lulu Rocks as I would like, didn't manage to get as much footage as I would like either. Um, but the last thing I just wanted to say is that today I basically handed my notice in at work. <laughs> so yeah, um, it's not official yet. So I won't be able to ooh, release this video until it is actually official and I've done it in writing, but yeah. I am basically going to try and go full time with Lula Rocks, which is terrifying and exciting and uh, terrifying some more, but I've, I've done it. Um, I can't work there anymore. I just can't do it. Um, it's, it's just breaking me and I've wanted to do this for such a long time and I've just, I've just had enough. So. I'm going for it and yeah, <laughs> I'm in a very strange mood this evening. So I'm going to end my first vlog here um, on a high note and yeah, thank you so much for following along. I really hope you enjoyed this video. It is my first vlog and hopefully, you know, once I've actually worked my notice period, I'll be able to do, you know, loads more vlogs because I'll be at home all the time and working all the time. So yeah. If you did like this video, please like and subscribe. That would be amazing. And yeah, like I said, thank you so much for watching and hopefully I will see you again soon. Bye.